Hey everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite. Another wonderful day in the world of Landgrisser. Today is actually a pretty exciting day. Um, we did just get the patch, and this is a hell of a patch actually. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Um, so right off rip, you guys have heard me talking about how they're going to change fixed damage and here's how they're gonna do it they're gonna put it into two categories there's fixed damage based off of the the percentage of your stat and then there's fixed damage based off of a percentage of the enemy's health now with this patch we are able to do fixed damage to um, the dragons and to uh, I was doing fixed damage to the Valkyrie today so all those guys too so as long as it is fixed damage based off of a percentage of your stat and not the enemy's hit point pool, you can do it. So now there's a lot of fun different builds and a lot of different things that you can do because, let's face it, even a dragon's going to get hurt taking a couple thousand damage every turn from multiple characters. So it definitely adds up. Um, other than that, let's just kind of get into it. Um, we got a new goblin level, so all you goblin slayers out there, rejoice, okay? And I will say this, it's pretty cool. I ran it once today, and with the team comp that I had, um, I think I left two goblins behind. So I was actually kind of surprised. The difficulty between 60 and 65, it's, it's quite a jump, and it needed to be, because I was clearing level 60 on auto, and my team, my top 5 is not even all that great. My goblin team is even like, less powerful. So this is cool. Um, it gives people a chance to actually play through the goblin stage. Um, there is like a boss goblin that drops. He's a big, I don't, I don't know if it was on turn 3 or 4, but it was a big goblin that dropped down. And it was something cool. It gave me something to target, you know. So I thought that was awesome. I'm pretty happy with the goblin stage. Um, really, I'm excited about the fixed damage. That's cool, and I can't wait to play around with that. Now, I will also say this. I did see something weird today. Um, let's talk about my Leon real quick. My Leon runs around with, like, 1,497 attack. Um, he's not fully bonded yet, but to his defense, he is equipped with the Y branch, so he ignores 15% of your armor. However, today when I was fighting the Valkyrie, Leon had 1,800 attack. I don't know how it happened. I noticed it right at the very end of the fight. I have never seen my Leon with 1,800 attack before. I don't know if maths got changed. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Um, if anybody else has noticed anything like that, I don't know. Let me know. But, uh... Yeah, his attack was definitely 1,800, and I've never seen that before. My Leon's never got his attack up that high before. So, I don't know if that has something to do with the patch. I don't know if there's just, like, a little glitch. And it was only in the Valkyrie fight, so I haven't seen it anywhere else. Okay, the other thing we got is we can now... Um, you can now run your dragon fights on... Uh, you can auto-run them. And what I mean by that is you can sweep that level so any level that you've cleared you can go ahead and you can sweep it right so you just you hit the little orb and it'll say sweep right there you have what six sweep chances every day I believe because I already use one just to see how it works now here's the thing guys this doesn't mean that it's a good thing to do okay I would highly recommend against sweeping the dragon levels every day because you're not going into this with a party with other characters with other players and you're not going to get the bonus items from that so i mean it was cool today like i'm pressed on time and you know if i had to choose to either forfeit um my dailies or to sweep it and at least get something for it, then obviously, yes, I would go through and I would sweep the dragon levels. Um, but as far as farming for resources goes on this, like your daily runs, you always want to run them in a party with two other people, preferably people in your guild or on your friend list to maximize the most on friendship points and all of that. All that stuff adds up, guys. So... Um, but this is nice. This is, um, 
I think they're trying to do something to make the daily grind easier for average players because I have heard of people complaining that the daily grind just takes them too long and I don't know personally for me if if that was the case uh, I would go play one of these AFK games where it's just an auto battle the whole game. I fancy the idea that Landgrisser gives me enough content to actually play through every day and keeps me busy. So, I don't know, you either love it or hate it, but they're trying to, um, I guess they're just trying to make everybody as happy as they can be, and I don't really see a problem with it. I'm still going to keep running uh, the Goddess Trials exactly as I do, so I can, you know, get as many SSRs as I can and as many points as possible. But hey, if I'm having a long day and I can't sit down and play for an hour, then yeah, you better believe I'm going to be sweeping the goddess trial if I have to. Okay. So that's how I feel about that. Um, the other thing we got today was, well, we got this new banner with Sigma and, hold on, before I butcher names, because I'm just notorious for that. Uh, Sigma and Lamba, these two crazy college kids. One belongs to Sigma Sigma, the other one's from Lamba Lamba. All right? I don't really know much about these characters, guys. <laughs> I have, I had three tickets. I threw my three tickets. Um, now, this is just personally me. I'm really keeping an eye out on these characters, and they are you less, so I'm like, oh, man. I, I typically go for you less, especially on my alt, because that's what I run. But I don't really know that much about these. And the reason why I didn't just go ham and start pulling on them is because we just had this limited banner. We have these limited characters. And honest, honestly, um, if I don't see a particular use for them, I'm not really going to go after them hard. Uh, maybe there's something I don't know about these characters, and I'm sure there probably is. I know one of them becomes a pretty gnarly uh, ranger, and I have heard <clears throat> that these are good PvP units. And it makes sense that they would come out with them now. Um, they did unlock some new PvP in this game, so we got that with the patch as well. I'm sure you guys have already heard about that, and that was really the big news for this patch. So these characters, I don't know that much about them now. When I do find out, I will let you guys know. Uh, what, what I will advocate for though, and this is what I absolutely love about Landgrisser, I've said it before and I'll say it again, every time they give us one of these banners, these new banners, this huge Trinity gift box pops up. Now granted, you can only buy one of these, okay, but I dare say this is like the best deal in gotchas, period, okay, and somebody can correct me on this if I'm wrong, I've played most gotcha games, this is literally letting you get um, huh, 22 summons, something like that, maybe 23 when you break it down, because you're getting almost 700 crystals and you're getting 15 trinity vouchers. So, I mean, that's, that's like, what, 22, 23 summons, somewhere in there, and you're getting that for $19.99, okay? You're getting a summon for under a dollar. I, I wish we could buy these all day, but we can't. But I haven't. I don't see deals like this on other gotcha games. They're not going to let you do a summon for a dollar. The the cheapest I've seen on Brave XVS, I believe, is around four or five dollars. So, and we had to get extremely lucky to get that bundle. So I welcome these. I will advocate for these. Uh, if <laughs> If you want the most bang for your buck when it comes to summoning, try to get the huge Trinity uh, voucher gift box. I will be picking this up, and I will be throwing my 20 summons. And I dare say, I'll even get this on my alt account. Um, typically, I wouldn't do that, but these are Yales characters. That's a Yales account. It's $20 to, to have a chance at pulling one of them. I'll probably do it. And, I mean, or even if you're not trying to pull these characters, this is a good bundle to buy and just put in your back pocket and save it. Again, less than a dollar per summon. I think that's pretty awesome, and I'm always happy to see this huge Trinity Voucher gift box. Uh, I will always advocate for it. So that's where we're at. That's what I'm going to do. And if I pull any of these characters, I will definitely make a review about them. 
Um, I'm going to try to get some more information on them pretty soon, but I haven't even really had time to look through all that. They are Yules, and that that's pretty cool. I do like Yules. So, this is the update that we got today. As you guys can see, I, <laughs> I'm just getting on today. I got on in the morning, but it's been a busy day, so I have to go through. I got like two hours left to clear all this out. But in, in a nutshell, this is what we got today, and it's, it's a lot of change, okay? Um, people that love Arena rejoice, okay? Because there's, the Arena game just got stepped up quite a bit. I know a lot of people are happy about that. You know, and if you're not, then be happy about the fixed damage that you can do to Dragons now. So this is fundamentally changing how we can play this game. And like I said, I can't wait to cut a dragon up with fixed damage. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So, uh, Mobile Gamers Unite, this is our patch for today. It's a good one. Um, guys, leave me any comments. If anybody's noticed any, uh, any wonky stats today fighting the Valkyrie, uh, let me know. I, I'm really curious about that because I'm still trying to figure out where my Leon magically got 400 more attack. Uh, so... I will be checking that tomorrow. I wish I could rerun it and, you know, look at all that stuff again, but we only get to run those once a day. So I hope I've covered everything as far as, uh, you know, sweeping the secret realm and doing all that. Um, so yeah, you guys have a good night. If there's anything I missed, please let me know. All right. It's been a busy day, like I've already said. But Mobile Gamers Unite, I'm one click away. Everybody, have an awesome day. Yeah, Landgrister's getting pretty epic. So we all got that to smile about. Peace.